Recap of the Celebrity Apprentice. Last week, Donald fired Chloe and Tian. Yes. <laughs> and um, nobody was really happy about that either because they were all sure that Clint was gonna go. Yeah. They didn't care about Tian. <laughs> but I forget it. Was it. Tian. Whatever. So Does it matter? I don't know. Joan was especially upset because Chloe was fired instead of Clint. Not because she wasn't because of the whole drinking thing. Yeah, she didn't. She was like, ah, she hates Clint. <laughs> she's getting over it. You know what, Joan? Victims never get a second chance. Yeah, a lot of people were sticking up for Chloe. Like, oh, she's doing the right thing. No. It's court ordered. Thank you. All right, so they're meeting with the people from LifeLock. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to uh, do a presentation and a point of sale um, display, I guess you could yeah, call it. Yeah, do the packaging. Identity thefts, no shit. Yeah, it's one of the highest occurring <laughs> crimes. Fastest growing <laughs> yeah, crimes whatever. in America. I what so, yeah. They're, they're going to be judged on brand messaging, originality, and the overall design of the whole thing. Yeah, so the project managers this week, um, Brian for Athena. Right. Because he wasn't there last week, and now he's on Athena. Right, and Natalie for Co2. All right, and the judges, besides DT... Of course, George. I love when George is there. in for Don Jr. Because he doesn't take any crap. Don Jr.'s never there. Anyway, yeah. and um, Ivanka. And the winner's going to get 20000 for their charity. All right. So they have to meet with the execs. Just a little side note. They chose Melissa and Joan to make the viral videos for all. all. They look really freaky, too. Don't yeah. even go there. I'm sorry, Melissa. I don't like the straight hair. Okay. <laughs> With the bangs. Melissa, I don't like your producing style either. It's really... Mm -hmm. Alright, so Co2 was working well together, despite the whole Clint and Joan feud. Yeah, they're really getting along well, and they had a great concept with the safe. I love that concept, and uh, Joan didn't like it, though. She thought it should be like more funny and more celebrity. But she decided... Look what happened last week. I'm going to keep my mouth shut this time. Right. So over at Athena, everybody was working except for Brian. The hell was it's Brian kind of a doing? problem when your project manager isn't doing anything. <sighs> he was just like, yeah, it'll yeah, be all right. Yeah, don't panic. It's fine. we got plenty of time. <laughs> so no, you don't. Clinton Herschel got right over to the fabricators to make the safe display. Mm -hmm. And they got everything going over there, but Athena's team was nowhere to be found. Yeah. The people were waiting around. For to, like hours. Uh, yeah, they were trying to, you know, do something, but they couldn't do anything except, you know. So Annie had to take care of it. <laughs> As she Annie usually does. <laughs> so Jesse and Brandy are over there in the van, getting over there. Mm -hmm. And Jesse pukes in the porta potty. He's not feeling well. His daughter was had the stomach virus, I guess, and he caught it from him. From him? Well, from her. <laughs> and Brandy's totally acting like a whore at the shop. I could screw it in real good. Where's your drill? Yeah. Do you know I was in Playboy? And so Clint and Herschel, uh, well, Clint anyways, uh, concerned about the other team being spies and overhearing him on the phone. After your video from last week, no one wants to know what you're talking about on the phone. Besides, uh, the day of is a little bit late to be worried about people stealing ideas. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, don't even worry about it, Clint. So it was so funny, though, because Herschel's like, he's running away with the phone like a little girl. <laughs> I love that. Herschel, you're the best. So Athena was having some communication issues. They were trying to transfer this file or mm -hmm. something, and the disk was blank, and, and then, then the emails They couldn't get through. through. The file was too big. Yeah. Everybody knows you got to use usendit.com. Come on. You can't send that whole giant fi uh, file by email. It's never going to go through. So just a little update. Joan is okay with Clint. Oh, thank God. That was Somebody so feels better now. Yeah, I see that. I feel like we're on the office. Yeah. All right, so the Co2 display, the header was too small. The celebrity pictures were like this big. Yeah, but they were able to fix it in time for the presentation. I love their presentation. I did too. Co2 went first, and Joan did the presentation, and it was like, I'm Joan Rivers. I'm Joan Rivers. No, I'm Joan Rivers. I thought that was clever. I thought so, too. 
And I loved their um, display. Mm -hmm. The safe idea was so cool. I really like their packaging, too. That was amazing. I would love to take one of those home, even if I wasn't buying the product. Yeah. So, yeah, I really, I like that. The other one, not so much. Everyone was ranting and raving about Brian's presentation. I thought it sucked. I, I thought, thought he sounded like a car salesman, and I was going to punch him in the face. The only thing that he was doing to get everybody's attention was yelling. And I hate that. <gasps> <laughs> and their stupid uh, things to take home look like those annoying AOL discs oh, that you God, get at the you're... supermarket. But the good thing was that they had their product available on on the point, actual yeah point of sale yeah on the actual display thingy. yeah. So in the boardroom, you know how I don't know how how they're doing it this year. The way they ask about the teams before they even say who the winner is or whatever. I don't, know. I don't like that so much. But Kotu was a big love fest. They were. It was all about, um, you know, oh, they work so well together. Everyone and was great. They did their job. Yeah. Everyone was a hard worker and came up with great <laughs> ideas. A hard worker. <laughs> <laughs> and on Athena, Jesse was sick, but he worked hard. Let's not talk about anyone else. Why were they even saying that? He probably did the most work. I know. He team. probably did. So, KOTU wins because, uh, let's just face it, the other team didn't have any creativity at all. Mm. And they didn't use their celebrity. Because so, there weren't too many celebrities on the other team <laughs> that were recognizable. That's $20,000 for the Boys and Girls Club of America. Great job, Natalie. Yay, A-Rod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Team Athena. Yeah, time management sucked. Brian McKnight just did not want to be He's there not anymore. He's a good pro project manager. He had his stupid concert, and he came back, and he was like, who I needs this crap? Here. Yeah. And, and Trump was like, do you want to be here? Sometimes. <laughs> So in the boardroom, Annie was kind of going after Melissa. Yeah. And Joan was really upset about it. You know, it. I think George was actually going after Melissa more than Annie was. Mm. I don't know. It's yeah. just my opinion. Uh, you know, especially since when she walked out. That's why she was like, I love you, George. <laughs> what was with that? So Joan was ready to quit, too. It was crazy. I know. What the hell's wrong with her? <laughs> Untie the apron strings already. So Ivanka totally calls out Annie on not stepping up. Yeah. That was cool. Good one, Ivanka. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so Brian picks Brandy and Melissa to come back into the boardroom with him. Pretty controversial stuff right there. Yeah. So Joan freaks out. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe that Annie was targeting my daughter. And then Brian picks him to go to the boardroom. That's bullshit. <laughs> I am going to pack my bags. I'm, I'm not coming into work tomorrow, guys. I can't deal with it. And I have to leave the room right now because I can't be here when Annie's in here. Oh, hi, Joan. Oh, hey, Annie. Hey, um, you know, what are you doing, Joan? What are you doing out here? Why did you throw Melissa under the bus? I don't know what you're talking about, Joan, because, like, I totally threw Brandy under the bus. No, I love Melissa. Didn't. She's totally safe. You didn't defend her. Don't worry about it, Joan. Joan, come on. Let's just go back inside. Wipe your jacket off because it's totally wet. You hit no. No. <laughs> All right. So it went exactly like that. Of course. <laughs> As it always does. Yeah. So in the end... Brian really doesn't want to be there anymore. He was fired. Yeah. Uh, he pretty much <laughs> he pretty quit. quit. Yeah. I'm surprised Donald Trump didn't play it up like he usually does when someone quits. Yeah. Like you're a loser and you're fired because you quit. So it's like, <laughs> call everybody next door. Get them back into the boardroom. Yep. Because the next task starts now. So it's a tough economy. <laughs> and to make up for it, to fix it, yeah. The teams have to put on a fashion show and jewelry auction. To sell Ivanka's crap, I mean stuff, or jewelry at Fashion Institute of Technology. FIT. Yeah. So the project managers for Athena, Annie, and for Kotu, Joan. You know, Donald handpicked them because, you know, they hate each other's guts at the moment. I know. So, Athena. Annie is, you know, she's a tough broad. She's a taskmaster. She assigned her tasks right away, and Melissa is pissed. She wanted to do everything, though. My mother has jewelry. I could do this, and she has I clothing, I need to pick the too. clothes, too. Yeah. Why don't you let somebody else do something for a change, instead of thinking that you can do something? Just be happy you got anything big, like the jewelry. Exactly. Like, come on. Yeah. So, over at KOTU, 
Joan realizes that it's going to be a money fest. Mm -hmm. Whoever can get their investors to pony up the coin is going to win the task. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with the jewelry or anything like that. So Natalie and Melissa end up being the ones who select the jewelry from Ivanka's line. Natalie was going for the really simple, elegant stuff. Right. But, you know, that doesn't really show up on stage, which Melissa was picking out all the big gaudy well, stuff. Well, yeah, because it's most like her mother's stuff. Yeah. When you're like 100 years old, you really like that chunky plastic jewelry. But she did have a good point. I yeah, mean, it shows better up on... It doesn't matter anyway, though. It's, I know. It's neither here nor there. Well, that's there. what I'm saying, because like, yeah. all your friends are buying it anyway. Exactly. So Joan totally did not like Natalie's selections. No. She was like, ugh. <laughs> and uh, Team Athena did not exactly appreciate Melissa's selections They're just either. like, oh, yeah, these are... Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa's getting her nose bent out of shape now over everything because she thinks that she's got to be, like, the superwoman of the team because she's, like, renaissance woman. She's <laughs> also upset because Annie and Brandy are besties now. They're besties! They're I all, like, 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 besties. And <laughs> how many times did she say besties? I don't know, but she's really got a chip on her shoulder about that. Who cares? Do you really want to be best friends with those two? I don't blame her, though, because I'm usually the Melissa. <laughs> and it gets really Well, that's annoying. sad. <laughs> so, uh, Herschel and Clint are in charge of picking out the models. <sighs> can you say awkward moments? Hi, can you sit down and we'll talk about it? All right, why don't you jump on that trampoline in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> what was with that? Oh, my God. And all of Athena ended up picking the models. Did you all really need to be there to pick the models, to have them walk and say, like, now bracelet. model this bracelet. <laughs> yeah, imaginary bracelet even. Mm -hmm. So Joan and Natalie went shopping for clothes, and I thought that went pretty successful. Yeah. Because I think the two of them, yeah, I think they pretty much know what's going on with the clothing. Yeah. Hey, so, <laughs> He's exploring. Yes, he is. So Melissa and Brandy go shopping. This, and, however, was not as successful. No, because Melissa was pissed that Brandy was worried about what she was going to wear because she's actually going to be one of the models. It's true, though. She really was just focusing on her outfit. You know, Melissa, when you're a horse face, don't expect to be picked as one of the models. I really don't feel that she was. <sighs> a horse face? Or? No, no, expecting to be a model. Oh, well, did she not expect Brandy to be a model? Come on, Brandy's going to have one of the biggest investors that, you know, one of the biggest contributors there. She deserves to be a model. Yes. Because it's going to be, you know, good television. So, uh, Trump has a visit from Piers Morgan. Ah! <laughs> Piers Morgan, what you doing here? Yeah. Love so, that. Trump tells him to keep an eye on the contestants. You are my eyes and my ears. Now go to it, bulldog. Mm -hmm. There's only one celebrity apprentice. It's Piers Morgan. That's right. So next time, it's Melissa versus Joan. Who would have thunk mother would have squared off against daughter? And Annie, have you ever been compared to Hitler? <laughs> That's some pretty strong words there, Trumpy. Till next time, much, much love. love.